me add the clutch so as i said it needs one measure and two uh, ranges i mean minimum value and maximum value minimum value of that item yeah. and maximum value of the same in the list of the records so wherever your uh, mm -hmm. uh, so this is my highest and this is my lowest now i have 100 products okay. out of this 100 products i have just choose product which is ranges in 50, 50, 55 record now maybe its price is 75 mm -hmm. so this division i mean this is the middle one so if its price is 70 uh, 75 this will be ranges here if it is 25 it will range here if it is 30 it will come around here so likewise that will be represented in combo i can get the individual price i can also compare among the entire list where exactly i resides i'm in a good position or i'm in a bad position that decision making can be happened through a god chart i mean you can get the mark in exam you are happy but you don't know what is the position in the class in that case the gauge would help okay gauge would so the lowest okay. mark occupier in the same class and highest mark occupier and your existence okay. you are lying in second third okay. or in the last of the session class okay so i had basically i was taking the sales here now it is taking the total sales is 5.1 million and price is by default taking the static values 0 and 10 i mean 0 and 100 we need to make it dynamic or we can even fix it also you can take two variables where two variables values can be fixed and it can the be the chart will only show those here. no matter what we say yeah. right so it should be number should be custom and this two has to be removed and these two value is showing as wrong in by default 0 and 100 which is not the minimum value of the sales and maximum value of the sales what i have to do i have to go to appearance in the presentation so i need to take the same attribute values what is minimum that was uh, Sales. and which is got dynamic dynamic now it is now showing seven and when i check this is nine. max so you will get what happening the equal to the equal to okay So it is taking the maximum values something like 9,986. So this is the minimum uh, price range of the product and maximum price of the product. Now, if I choose a particular product, I need to see that what is the intensity of that va value, what exactly it is resides among the entire list. So I'll choose one product. Now you see the product price is this one. Okay. Two. Mm -hmm. Among the highest sale, the range of this product is this one. So total sale of this all the products is 5.1 million. However, total sale of the, uh, all the product is 5.1 million. If I just choose a particular product, I will see among the 5.1 million, my sale is 2 million only. 244. Yeah. 
2 lakhs actually. So that's the analysis we can make it out of here. Okay. You segment. The segment is basically. To, uh, I have one only. Uh, I mean, if you want to define the segment, then let me see. And toward higher and lower limit. Say, for example, what is the segment? You are driving a car. Okay. We have three segment of speeds, like. 0 to 40 kilometer is the good and safer segment where you, it would be economic drive and 40 to 60 kilometer mm -hmm. is you will come in a orange color or yellow color Medium. intermediate and 60 to 100 120 140 is a red color because that the speed limit is high oil consumption is high and other parameters is also high so that's the limit so likewise we can also define the limits so for example, 0 to 30 is fail, 30 to uh, 50 is second division, 50 to 60 is first division, and we can define like this. Okay, so it is by default coming to the highest range of our price. This is the sales. Now, either you can take a gradient or you can add another limit also. I will add three limits okay second i've got three limits my first limit is so easy then click you <laughs> exactly and then click you uh, we have to uh, you know there are huge number of properties but to find out all those property and trace them and to customize that it is difficult right uh, right. It was by default one limit was added. I just added a second limit, so I can define say the uh, the below one is green. Okay. In this speed, if my car is driving, okay. running, then it is okay, economic. Okay. In this range, it will be yellow or orange. Right. On this range, it would be red, danger zone. Okay. So you can manually define, say if your price is 100, I can just define 3000. I have 9000 is the maximum, okay. I can define 7 to 3000 is this, and 3000 to 6000 is, I can define manually. Yeah. Is my second range. And 6000 to 9900 is my third. So, if the price sales sales price is coming under this it will turn yellow or green or whatever okay. now this is the gudge looks very beautiful <laughs> as going to click you the rate I was showing here Earlier it was wrong actually. I mean, uh, I just given a total value of the product. I mean, entire product it was taking, but now it is taking a one product value. It is not sum of all the products. Okay, I'll just choose this, right. this particular product. See the price of this product. This comes. The price is not showing here. Let me just bring it to this. Section. Expression is this. And label will be mm -hmm. 
Oh. It is taking the sum of all the products. All right, no issue. Thanks. Okay. I got what you thank you. Probably the aggregation on the back end. <laughs> because there are multiple uh, sales on this product, so it is taking the total, but it, total sale of the product. However, product individual price is something. Individual price of this product must be something, right? And there are multiple mm -hmm. repetitions in the transaction table, so that's the reason it is the total transaction of this product, total sale of this product. However, individual price of this product is this one, and uh, the minimum sale of this product is this one, and maximum sale of this product is this one. Okay, mm -hmm. this is all about the gauge. I think I